Um, I really don't know really what to say about planking. I actually think that it's very dangerous and people could actually get hurt. Um, I remember reading a headline once about a kid who planked on a pole or something like that and he ended up dying from it. So I think people should really stay away from it because it's very dangerous. You can get really hurt. And also I think it's very immature and kids who do that, they really have nothing to do with themselves. They no lies. When you think of a trending balance act or activity, what comes to mind? Probably not somebody laying face down, but people around the world have been doing just that in hopes of showing off their ability to lay down and balance on unusual or daring objects and places. This is planking, and it's a lot more risky than you would think. Teens and young adults everywhere are getting in on this fad. Not just in America has it become popular, but in South Korea, Australia, and many other countries. Planking's Facebook page has over 82,000 likes, and Planking Australia has 173,005 likes. Thousands of pictures are uploaded on different social networking websites of people participating in this dangerous sport. Well, I like to plank because I'm a total rebel and it's just what I do. Like, if someone's like, you're not supposed to be up there. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get up there anyway, and I just lay on it. I don't care if they look at me. Well, when I was younger, I used to act like a little monkey and jump on everything, so it kind of evolved into this realistic sport of planking where I just lay on it, so I guess for a while now. I like to go into real formal places, like I planked a wedding once, There's I went on every table and I was like, I'm going to lay right here, you can't tell me nothing, I just laid right there, got a good MySpace picture. This craze may just be laying down, but it's still as risky as any other fad of this popularity. Simply planking on your table may not pose much risk, but many take it too far. Extreme plankers aren't satisfied with tables, refrigerators, and parked cars. Many have posed on tops of roofs, light posts, statues, and restaurants. The danger is increased greatly when plankers take this fad to such greater heights, but it's something many are willing to risk. what I do uh, you know I love planking so much that a few boo-boos aren't gonna stop me this is what I do one time I was planking a Burger King sign and uh, I fell off and I landed on my ankle and that kind of hurt I only cried for like 20 minutes and then I uh, got her stitched up and it was pretty good when it happened I was kind of doubtful if I do it again, but like I said, I'm a rebel and nothing's going to stop me. It's what I do. Injury is almost unavoidable for plankers going all out for this craze. From broken bones to being put into comas, planking has caused countless injuries to its participants. A woman from Sydney, Australia received head injuries while demonstrating this fad to a friend. Another man was put into a coma after planking on a car. Despite knowledge of these and many more accidents from this craze, many continue to act out planking to get a laugh or two from their peers. As if injuries weren't enough of a warning about the danger, a man from Australia was killed attempting to plank from a 7th floor balcony. 20 year old Acton Bilal paid for his love of planking with his life on May 15, 2011 in Queensland. Some of these planking pictures may have you thinking, how do they get away with this? And it turns out many don't. Numerous plankers have been prosecuted for disorderly conduct by, pl by planking sprees and inappropriate planking acts, like on top of cop cars. For I've gotten in trouble for planking one time. I was planking on private property apparently, and I read the sign and said no skateboarding, no rollerblading. No flying, and I was like, all right, well, I'm planking, so this is all right, and no, I went to juvie and I cried. Although the popularity of planking has gone down, it's still affecting society with its new branches. For example, teapotting is often called the safer planking. It's the act of bending your arms like a teapot as opposed for pictures. Another variation of planking is batmaning, the act of hanging upside down on your toes. This is surely a dangerous act. Owling was also created in response to planking. It's sitting in position of a perched owl on top of different objects and places, much like planking. <laughs>